What is the first line treatment for acute asthma attack? A. Oral steroids B. Salbutamol nebulization C. Ipratropium bromide D. Oxygen therapy Correct answer B. Salbutamol nebulization Salbutamol is a short-acting bronchodilator. Salbutamol quickly opens up the airways. It is the first step in treating an asthma attack. Which condition is classically associated with a productive cough lasting more than 3 months in 2 consecutive years? A. Asthma B. Emphysema C. Chronic Bronchitis D. Bronchiectasis Correct answer C. Chronic Bronchitis Chronic Bronchitis is diagnosed when a productive cough lasts at least 3 months a year for 2 years. It is a part of COPD. The main cause of chronic bronchitis is smoking. Which chest X-ray finding is classic for pleural effusion? A. Blunting of costophrenic angle B. Cavitation C. Hyperinflated lungs D. Mediastinal shift to same side Correct answer A. Blunting of costophrenic angle Pleural effusion causes fluid accumulation in the pleural space. This leads to blunting of the costophrenic angle. It's often one of the earliest X-ray signs. Which condition shows a steeple sign on neck X-ray? A. Epiglottitis B. Bronchiolitis C. Croup D. Asthma Correct answer C. Croup The steeple sign is seen in croup caused by subglottic airway narrowing. It appears like a pointed church steeple on an X-ray. Croup typically presents with a barking cough and inspiratory stridor. Which organism is most commonly associated with cystic fibrosis lung infection? A. Streptococcus pyogenes B. Pseudomonas aeruginosa C. Staphylococcus epidermidis D. Klebsiella pneumoniae Correct answer B. Pseudomonas aeruginosa Pseudomonas is the most frequent and persistent lung pathogen in cystic fibrosis. It worsens lung function over time. Regular cultures and antibiotics are key in management. Which condition shows a tram track appearance on chest X-ray? A. Pulmonary embolism B. Bronchiectasis C. Emphysema D. Pleural effusion Correct answer B. Bronchiectasis Tram track lines are parallel lines seen on chest X-ray in bronchiectasis. It is due to thickened bronchial walls. This condition causes chronic cough, sputum production and recurrent lung infections. Which disease presents with pink puffers? A. Asthma B. Chronic bronchitis C. Emphysema D. Pneumonia Correct answer C. Emphysema Patients with emphysema are called pink puffers. They have dyspnea and use accessory muscles to breathe. Oxygen levels remain near normal in early stages. Which respiratory condition is treated with surfactant therapy in newborns? A. Meconium aspiration B. Transient echipnea C. Neonatal pneumonia 
D. Respiratory Distress Syndrome Correct answer D. Respiratory Distress Syndrome Respiratory Distress Syndrome in newborns is due to surfactant deficiency. It is common in preterm babies, giving surfactant improves lung compliance and oxygenation. Which pulmonary condition is characterized by permanent dilation of bronchi? A. Asthma B. Bronchiectasis C. COPD D. Pulmonary fibrosis Correct answer B. Bronchiectasis Bronchiectasis causes permanent widening of bronchi. It results from repeated infections or inflammation. Patients have a chronic productive cough in this condition. Which test confirms the diagnosis of obstructive lung disease? A. Chest X-ray B. CT scan C. Spirometry D. Arterial blood gas Correct answer C. Spirometry Spirometry is the most reliable test for obstructive lung disease. It measures airflow and helps identify reduced FEV1. It is essential for asthma and COPD diagnosis. FEV1 stands for forced expiratory volume in one second. It is the amount of air a person can forcefully exhale in the first second of a full deep breath out. It's measured during a test called spirometry, which checks lung function. If FEV1 is low, it may suggest obstruction, like in asthma or COPD. Doctors use it to measure severity and response to treatment. Deep sulcus sign on chest X-ray is suggestive of which condition? A. Pleural effusion B. Pulmonary fibrosis C. Pneumothorax D. Bronchiectasis Correct answer Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates, follow our Telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.